She can't possibly think he don't want to smash that patty cake. No, she can't think that. Of course he wants to smash that patty cake. Unless he don't like your type. Unless he like men. But other than that, he want to smash that patty cake. If you look good and you got that big fat patty cake, he want to smash it. You want him to act like he don't want it. You're saying that's all he want. So you want him to play dumb, hang around you, and act like he don't want this patty cake. Only way that's case if he's dealing with another woman or women. But you say you want a man that only deal with you, but you react to polygamous, polygamous behavior. But you say you want a man to just deal with you. How you want him to just deal with you when, when he only focusing on you is a problem. You know what I'm saying? If he only focusing on you, it's a high chance he might have high testosterone. He probably ain't done nothing in a while. He might be touchy touchy. That turns you off. What turns you on is laid back, nonchalant, acting like he not gonna touch you, acting like he not gonna bother you. That that turns you on. That type of nonchalantness, that laid backness. It's a reason why he act like that. It's a reason why he act laid back. Because he's already getting some from his women or his wife or whatever. Certain behavior come with certain, you know, certain situations. Uh, you're not going to find a rich man complaining about his phone bill. Complaining about, he, you know, he tired of eating the same thing. You're not going to find that. You know. You're not, a man is getting a lot of that, that's if he have a high drive. If he don't have a high drive, then he gonna be laid back anyway. So the only guys that you're bringing it to them, you're bringing it to the guys that have the high drive. I mean, you're bringing it to the guys that have the low drive or showing the low interest in your body. But that's because they either have a low drive, they either like men, or they either getting it from other women or their wife. Either way, none of those situations are beneficial to you for real. Unless you're into a polygamous nature. If you're not into polygamous nature, then it's not going to benefit you. But you, you know, because you're not going to get everything you want. You're not going to get a superman, a man who just... I'm ready when you're ready. I'm going I'm to I'm hang around you and your personality is just so good that I'm going to play dumb and act like I don't see them hips and see them curves. You know, it don't work that way. Be realistic now. Be realistic. But you know how to act realistic when it's Chris Brown or when it's Eldra Idris or whatever the name. When it's these guys that you think is a sex symbol. You know how to bring it to them in. You're screaming and all that. What you screaming for? If you're not going to give that dude your body so when you see him then what you're screaming for but you want a regular dude to be acting on you know walking on eggshells around you acting like he he don't get hard no it don't work that way you're living in a delusional mindset especially if a man is healthy and he got a high drive and he if he hasn't been doing nothing and you're attracting he go, if he's around you he may want to do something Hold your hand, rub your leg in the movies, grab them cheeks, kiss you, kiss you on your forehead. He gonna want some kind of affection, but you, you get turned off if he do anything. Oh, you moving too quick for me. But if that was Chris Brown or Elba Idris, which you wouldn't mind if he moved quick. So why are you so? Just the high mentality, the groupie mentality. It goes. It's just so many of them have it. So many of them have that groupie mentality. That, that high mentality. But don't just watch the video. Press like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm Alan Rayner. Follow me on Instagram at Alan Rayner Show. On Instagram, you can get some of my latest health and relationship products and techniques. My, my latest product that people are getting is um, the health one. It's a food that I'm, I've been eating that's from pre preventing me from getting sore throats, colds, in this season where everybody's sneezing and coughing and nasty and all yucked up. Some people yucked up all year round. 
But in this season where, I, you know, all this stuff and germs going around, you might need this food. $20 donation, message me on Instagram, you want that. If you're a man and you want a bigger ham bone, two inches longer, two inches thicker, I was already okay. I started noticing I was eating these three foods every day. And within a week time, I said, man, when that thing got erect, it was two inches longer and two inches thicker. Really, yeah. And then I started telling people, other guys, hundreds of other guys, uh, reaping the benefits of these three foods. Um, so far, nobody complained. They get the same results I got. You want to know what I've been eating these three foods? Message me on Instagram at Alan Reed and show $20 donation, and I'll tell you the three foods. Hey, stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Follow me on Facebook as well. Everything is in the description box. Share these videos on your Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Press like, subscribe, hit the notification. I holler at you. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name because we rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus, speaking in tongues. He flee. We out.